Now in this last part then of the question, we've got to find out what the sum to infinity would be, that is if we were to continue adding each of these numbers up forever and ever. Now in a situation like this, providing the common ratio is less than 1, which it is, okay, less than 1 and greater than minus 1, we've got 2 thirds here so we know that's true. What happens is that as n gets bigger, 2 thirds here to the power n would tend to 0. Just try it on your calculator if you like. Do 2 thirds to a huge power and you'll find it will get smaller and smaller, 10 to 0. And so what that means is that the sum to infinity would be a times just simply 1, or just simply a, all over 1 minus r. So we have this standard formula that the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r, providing r lies between minus 1 and 1. And you should already know this, but as I say, I'm just quickly running through that for you. So the sum to infinity for this question is going to be a, which is 729, all divided by 1 minus the common ratio 2 thirds. And if you work this out, what you get is 2187. You'll never exceed this number if you add these terms up, but you'll get mighty close to it, okay, the more terms you add. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this question.